the um, one of the things that we've been saying for a while is that we hadn't reached the blood on the carpet. Mm-hmm. Shipping um, is now reaching that point of the blood on the carpet. It's going to be very uncomfortable for a lot of people. When you start looking at cold layup, warm layup, when you start doing the least loss calculations, the blood is coming on the carpet. Um, and shipping needs to go through this phase. You have to do this. You've got to clear out um, uh, really the, the areas that's holding shipping back. Um, it's a learning experience. It's a very horrible experience, uh, but we have to go through it. How long it's going to last? We hope not as long as the 80s, um, but it could well be a cash flow business for some time to come. And I've always been a good believer in the handy side segment. Mm-hmm. Um, but the handy size segment, you've got to know your charters, you've got to know your business, you've got to be there for a while, you've got to have a reputation. Uh, it's not just a matter of going out and ordering 10, 15 ships and getting involved in the business. It's much more complicated than that. Um, but personally, I feel that that market will probably keep those operators going fairly well. From the time. Well, the biggest headache really has to be um, uh, the um, coming together of all the regulations that we have uh, the additional cost. Uh, when, when you're looking at, at environmental regulations, you've got to look at the regulations which actually are proven to um, uh, reduce mortality rates or to, um, uh, to clear up the environment um, in a way that the general public um, is not harmed by shipping. Um, and then we have environmental regulations that might be pushed through by uh, people with other agenda. Um, where in fact you have to spend a lot of money on uncertain technology, uncertain equipment um, uh, for uncertain benefits. Well, <laughs> come on, Sam. I mean, Hong Kong, of course. I mean, uh, because of the people here. 